Dryer vent hoods for roofs come in multiple styles, and in most cases, it's the design of the termination hood that makes the dryer exhaust system efficient or wasteful. This video will reveal the actual air pressure differences produced in five popular vent hoods. Our test apparatus comprises of the actual blower unit from a Kenmore dryer and a Magna Helic gauge. In our industry, the Magna Helic gauge is the ideal instrument to accurately display the subtle levels in dryer exhaust and works similarly to a liquid column manometer where the difference in fluid height is proportional to the pressure difference. Let's pay close attention to the readings. We'll start with the least efficient vent and end with the most impressive vent. Higher back pressure levels are less efficient, will extend the drying times, and will accelerate wind. Let's stop here. This is possibly one of the most common roof vents for the dryer. It measures four inches across and is referred to as a four inch gooseneck. Starting with a reasonably typical residential pressure of 0.40 water column inch, this vent increases the inline pressure to 0.85 water column inch. That's an increase of 0.45 inches of water column, and in our industry, that is considered excessive. Let's take a step back and understand the mechanics of airflow friction through rigid pipe. Each foot of straight pipe will add 0.01 inches of water column back pressure and elbows 0.10 inches of back pressure. In this typical home that has a dryer box installed, there is eight feet of rise, one elbow, five feet of run, another elbow, and then 14 feet of rise to the roof vent. The result without the termination hood contributes 0.47 inches of water column pressure. What's interesting is that a popular appliance manufacturer requires dryer exhaust systems to not exceed 0.60 water column inch of pressure. In our typical scenario, a roof termination that provides more than 0.13 of pressure would violate the manufacturer's design limitations and possibly void the warranty. In our first test, the 4-inch gooseneck provided more than three times the allowable pressure level. And it's here we start to see why an efficient roof vent becomes attractive in not only meeting the appliance manufacturer's minimum requirements, but saving energy and minimizing any fire risk. Let's continue with the test. A common plastic roof vent, again starting with 0.40 water column inch, rising to 0.70. A popular low profile vent, 0.40 water column inch to 0.61. Watch this one closely. This is not Hollywood magic. This vent is so fine-tuned that it has no effect on the pressure readings. This is the new low-profile Dryer Jack 466 from the same people that brought you the dryer box. This precision-tuned design creates no resistance, giving a level of performance previously unavailable in a roof vent. Featuring an innovative curved damper, this sturdy galvanized steel vent works on any slope roof. It is optionally available in powder-coated black or brown and is proudly made in America. Our taller 486 dryer jack is specifically designed for medium snowfall regions and sloped roofs with medium profile tiles like S and Spanish S tile. Notice, this vent also creates almost no back pressure. Discover the dryer jack a level of efficiency previously unavailable in a dryer roof vent. Check with your local HVAC or roofing supply company. Now available at dryerjack.com.